Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1050, the Sweet Treats Charms, and you can check out all of our designs at KarenBerniston.com. You can make four adorable little charms using this die set, a donut, an ice cream cone, a watermelon slice, and a popsicle. There are eight individual dies in the set, and these are a great use of all of your scraps. So I like to cut everything at one time. I will have to run back through for the popsicle because I need two of them. But other than that, I can cut everything at the same time. And any die cutting machine that can accommodate a wafer thin die will work with these dies. And I am using a Sizzix Big Shot today. Let's start with the watermelon charm. And there are three dies used to make this charm. And the main one that cuts the watermelon slice itself has an optional stencil feature to be able to add the seeds. So you would leave that paper in the die and then go in with a black pen and draw in all of the seeds. And then to do the rind of the watermelon, there are two dies in the set that you layer together. You start with the white one, so that one would go on first, just lining up with the outside curved edge. My favorite is to use glue for these small charms, and I am using my Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive. It's in my fine tip bottle, and we do sell both of those items on our website. So now I'll add the green rind, and again, just lining it up with the curved edge. So then you get that double rind as well as some cool dimension to the charm. For the popsicle charm, I usually cut two, one in a craft color that will be used for the sticks and the little hang hole, and then the main body of the popsicle from whatever flavor color that I'd like. There is an optional stencil emboss feature on this one as well. You could sponge some ink through that, or what I like to do sometimes is just take a white gel pen and make an L, essentially. It just adds a little dimension to the popsicle. Another option would be to use a patterned paper for the popsicle. And then the sticks and the hole can come off of the one that's decorative, and then that can be glued to the one that's solid. And this charm might also be cute if you cut it or tore it up the middle on the perforation line, much like you would do if you had one popsicle and two kids. For the ice cream cone, you don't have to cut two because it actually has the die to do the decorative part where the ice cream is, and that does have an optional stencil feature to add sprinkles to the ice cream cone. So you can use your white gel pen or maybe multiple colors of pens. Maybe you're going to sponge ink through it. Maybe you're going to emboss it. So different ways to get those sprinkles if you'd like. And then that just glues right over the top of the full charm. So super easy assembly on the ice cream cone. And I'm particularly happy with the way that the pattern turned out on the cone itself. I just think it's a cool detail, makes it look very textural. And then the final charm is the donut charm. Once again, you have a stencil emboss feature to add to those sprinkles. The hole in the middle of the frosting for the donut is actually kind of oval shaped, so you're just going to spin it around until you get a nice good shadow with the oval shaped hole that's in the donut itself. So how will you hang your charms from your project? Well, here are just a few different ideas. You can buy metal jump rings in a variety of sizes in the jewelry aisle of any of your major craft stores. So I would look for six millimeters up to maybe nine or 10. Another option would be to use mini brads. So those will fit perfectly through those holes on all of the charm sets. Any type of twine or string or thread or fishing line, we do now sell some twine on our website just in convenient little two yard packs. And another option would be the paper jump ring. Now that comes included in the charm accordion die set. There is a die in that set that will actually cut four paper jump rings at one time for all of your charm sets. So you cut that paper jump ring and then you can use that in place of a metal jump ring. What's nice about that is it really reduces the bulk and the weight inside your card because those paper jump rings lie very flat. So lots of ways you can add these little charms to projects, but of course you can also remove the holes and then they just become little miniature embellishments. Let's look at a few finished cards that feature the Sweet Treats charms. In this same release is a new pop-up die called the Circle Charm Pop-Up, which is sized to perfectly show off all of our charm sets, including the Sweet Treats Charm, so you can see those used here. 
and then another version using that same die set and the Sweet Treats charms. Summer Hills Painter made this circle charm pop up, and I like how she made multicolored sprinkles on the ice cream charm. Another brand new pop up die set that works perfectly with the charms is the new Upsy Daisy pop up, and here's one where I put on a lot of the Sweet Treats charms and the Beach charms. And then this colorful card by Karen Aiken features the coffee charms along with the donut charm across the top of a cupcake pop-up card. The Sweet Treats charms are available now. If you click on the website link, you'll go to karenberniston.com where you can find out information about purchasing these dies as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.